What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. In today's video, we're going through things that players just don't do anymore. This is because the game has evolved, it's been updated, there's certain things that were beneficial to do back when it was first released, but as of right now, it is just not worth doing just because the amount of time it takes to do it could be better spent doing something else which will make you more money, gold, XP, or just give you more entertainment value out of it. If you have any more suggestions of things that players just don't do anymore because of the time we're in with the game, then let me know in the comment section down below. But the first thing is fishing. Fishing used to be the number one way to make money. You can find any source of water anywhere and fish will spawn in. You pull out your fishing rod and there you go, bang. You're able to get a ton of fish and depending on the fish, depends on how much money you can get. There used to be a place just outside Blackwater where you can just hang out, you can get Lake Sturgeon, you run all the way over to the butcher, you sell them there, you run all the way back. It's round about a 20, maybe 30 seconds distance of run and then it takes maybe like 30 seconds to a minute for you to reel that lake sturgeon in. There was also a place beside Valentine on the Dakota River where you can go over to a location, stand on a rock, pull out your fishing rod, throw the line in and you're able to catch a big fish and immediately on catching it because it is such a thin river at this point you're able to pull it in straight away. So you are able to make like five dollars within a matter of seconds of trying to get from the butcher right all the way over to the Dakota River and quickly get a fish to go all the way back. You'll be making about five dollars every couple of minutes. But ever since the trader role fishing has become pointless and it's rare for anyone to do it at some point in the future i do believe there will be a fishmonger role i've spoke about it many many times on this channel but as of right now fishing is not something that a lot of players are still doing they would much rather spend their time going for the trader the moon china the bounty hunter or the collector to make their money instead of just sticking around doing a bit of fishing the second thing is xp farming in saint denis who remembers this this was like done within the first couple of weeks of red dead online when it was released least where you would try to farm as much XP as possible and how you would do it is that you would kill a guard within Saint Denis you will then run around climb up the ladder get on top of this rooftop and then you'll just wait for guards to follow you guards would then climb up that ladder and it was easy just to shoot them down you can get headshots very easily which means you're progressing through your awards to get headshots with a certain weapon as well as you're getting kills with a certain weapon so eventually you're also progressing through getting gold and if you remember right at the early stages it was very hard to get gold every time you did a race you would be getting like one gold nugget anytime you did anything you were getting next to nothing until later rockstar did increase this but this is xp trying to get as much xp as possible no one really does this anymore we used to try and get as much xp as possible just by doing this little method it started out of you just killing guards whilst they're trying to climb up the ladder then it was vital for you to get headshots because that gave you an additional five xp then it was important that you use special ammo because you then got even more xp there was even a point where we started to use this round the whole map of Red Dead Online trying to find different points where we could get XP and we started to do executions because that gave even more XP and then there'll be a thing over in Blackwater where you're on horseback and you're trying to kill guards that way and in that method you were able to get even more XP because you was on horseback but now no one really does it because it is very easy to rank up especially if you're getting into the roles. The collector role is probably the role that gives the most money and also the most XP. Every time you find a collectible you can get anywhere between 100 XP all the way up to 300 xp and if you sell that as a collector set that can give you an additional 1500 xp so doing what we used to do which was climb up in ladders and saint denis to get on rooftops just so we can shoot the guards down no one does that anymore and then the third and final thing for this video is cougar or panther hunting this used to be massive at the beginning of red dead online there wasn't much money within the game but everything was so expensive so selling cougars and selling panthers at the time they were going for 23 dollars this was the best way to make money money. Across the whole map there was a ton of cougar locations, a lot more compared to right now. As well as panthers used to be in the game, but it's rare for you to ever see a panther within free roam anymore. There was countless different locations, but some of the best locations were in Blackwater and also Tumbleweed. In Blackwater you had a cougar just outside. We're talking about a minute's worth in walking distance, even quicker if you're on horseback. So what you're able to do is start the butcher, ride all the way over to this location within 30, maybe 45 seconds, kill the cougar, skin the cougar, and then store the hide on the back as well as the carcass as well as store anything else within your satchel ride all the way back to the butcher and sell it on and you're able to make 23 dollars now you could do that within two to three minutes but what made this really worth it is that you can do it again so as soon as you've done that you've sold everything at the butcher you can ride all the way back to the location and the cougar has spawned in again and you can keep on doing that without any problems whatsoever and it was the exact same thing with tumbleweed tumbleweed there was two or three different cougar locations and what you can do is pick which one you 
you think is going to be best for you. But this time last year, Rockstar updated the game to reduce the price of every single animal, and this included cougars and panthers. So they went from $23 if they were perfect and you skinned them and then sold each item separately to the butcher, to then be doing the exact same thing but only to be getting $15. On top of that, Rockstar also increased the time it takes for a cougar or panther to spawn in. So these locations where we was able to get a cougar within a matter of minutes now took a lot longer because as soon as we found the cougar, went back to the butcher, sold everything that we had, went back to the location to find the cougar again, the cougar did not spawn. And then the last thing that Rockstar did to change all of this was that they removed the cougar as well as panther locations. So now within free roam, these locations where we were able to find cougars and panthers do not exist anymore. There are some locations that you can still do this with. So there's a spawn location above Chola Springs and what you can do is force the cougar to spawn in. But it's not really worth it because you can spend the time it takes for you to do this cougar method in the moonshine roll, in a collector roll, in a trader roll, in a bounty hunter roll, and it's a lot more entertaining and you'll be making more money, gold, and also XP. But anyway guys, those are three things that players just do not do within Red Dead Online anymore. If you know any other suggestions, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below. But anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.